even like those two stars, but it's called Star Wars, and it must have some tangential connection. And then they get in there and like, not at all, not a fucking thing. <laughs> well, you know, if, if we go over to Hong Kong, I could call it Star Wars. They don't respect copyright over there. <laughs> I got international, I'm sorry. But you had a question. Yes. yes. Uh, by the way, a couple of Richards would be a good title. I know. Well, why can't, it, why can't it just be a couple of dicks? How come ABC, NBC, CBS won't run an ad before 9 o'clock? And I'll tell you why. Because they're fuckheads. No, well, but why are they fuckheads? Because of fucking Janet Jackson's tit. Still. <laughs> We're all still paying for Janet Jackson's tit. And I don't want to, you know, the family says some tragedy recently. But still, that boob haunts me. <laughs> that was a nice Weird, one. man. So weird. Anyway. Anyway, um, for a couple of dicks, the cast includes Bruce Willis. Yes. Where, where the hell did you get that idea to put Bruce Willis in a comedy film with you making it? I mean, besides him being awesome. I see Steve Zahn, because he's funny. Or not Steve Zahn, Sean William Scott, I get confused, because they said... Really? Anyway. Why so, Bruce? Yeah, just why Bruce, because um, he's I'm, awesome. Yeah, he's just a boatload of awesome Bruce Willis. Um, but also, I mean, he, uh, <laughs> don't clap, he didn't come. <laughs> Wouldn't that have been great? He's just a bullet awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is. I asked him, I was like, did you want to go to Comic-Con with me? He goes, Comic-Con. <laughs> <laughs> and then he walked away. <laughs> I am still not sure whether or not he thought I was talking about Ruskies or Reds or something. But then he asked me, like, every day for the next week, how was Comic-Con, Kev? I said, it didn't happen yet. There's still a chance for you to go. You go out on stage, they love John McClain there. He goes, nah, I'd have to wear a mask. John McClain. <laughs> Um, anyhow, uh, why? I don't know. I mean, I grew up watching Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis, before he was John McClane's me, before he was the guy who runs around in movies with guns shooting shit, he was David Addison on the Yeah! He was really, really funny. I mean, he was, he was a comedic actor, so we're getting back to those roots, and he's fucking funny in the movie, man. Um, Tracy's funny, Sean's funny. It's very funny. Movies kill. You know what, who's really funny to him? Kevin Pollock and, um, and Adam Brody. Just fucking awesome in the movie. And we get wonderful cameos. All of Fred Armisen came in and fucking killed it. Susie Essman. It's a really cool cast. Anyway, is that... that are we that going? Will Thank you for coming, by the way. Thanks. We all love you. Thanks yeah. for having me, man. Thank you. Hello. Hey, man. How are you? Pretty good. Um, I really enjoyed your recent run on Batman. I'm looking forward to the next little series that's going to come out. But uh, I wanted to ask you about the Green Hornet. I um, wanted to like, hear what you have to say about it. I heard there might be like a female Kato. Does it have anything to do with the Seth Rogen movie coming out? Um, no, it's going to be the, the Green Hornet that we're doing um, uh, with... Um, oh, shit. Yell it out, please. This is embarrassing. What? Dynamite, thank you. I wanted to say Dynamic Forces, but that was... Dynamite is the publishing arm, right? Am I right? Thank you. Yeah, I think you're right. Thank you. Um, we're doing, uh, we're doing basically taking the script that I had written for that movie that, that was never going to get made and just turning that into a comic book. So we're illustrating the whole thing, and you'll get to see how bad my Green Hornet movie would have been. <laughs> When's it coming out? Uh, I don't know. I guess um, I, I, Batman, the, the Widening Gyre comic I'm doing, I think that comes out in October. I think uh, probably Christmas or January for Green Hornet. So the the Kato is definitely female. It's not gonna look like Bruce Lee or anything. Uh, the, the, yeah, the Kato. There there are a couple Katos. One's a girl. All right, cool. Thanks, man. All right. Why, why did that warrant applause? <laughs> like tepid, like. <laughs> He continues to where he found a use for his script that nobody wanted. <laughs> Manufacture for use, good for him. Yes, sir. You got an awesome head of hair, man. You look like a young Wayne Gretzky. All right, okay. Mr. Smith. You sound uh, like him, too. Really? No. Yeah. <laughs> you got one of those deep voices for you. You got a boyish face, but a deep voice. So you look like you can get away with shit, you know? 
then you start talking and you're like, we didn't do anything, Mr. Johnson. <laughs> Anyhow, how are you? I'm doing pretty good. Alright. Um, Me too, man. We're both doing well. Nice. Okay, next. Alright. Uh, okay, you, you, you've got this new movie coming out, A Couple of Dicks. No, and... not for a while, man. That's well, I mean, until it, fucking February. That's your next one. That's what I mean. Yes. And he, like he said, uh, you, or the one, one right before the last one, you, you got Bruce Willis. So, uh, got some new, you know, like, is there something new, really, that you're going to be trying to do with comedy using, a, like, a really big star like Bruce Willis? Yeah, man, I'm going to reinvent comedy. Well, I mean... You watch! With your, with your style of your, of your directing. Not really. I mean, I, you know, how many different ways is there to skin a cat? We all know that I'm not that talented, visually speaking. But I will say this. When you see the movie, you'll be like, there's no way you made this movie. Like, I cut the movie every night, and I sit there going, I didn't make this. It looks too good. It just looks real slick and polished and shit. And in a weird way, because, like, you know, if I sit there and I fucking smoke up and edit and shit, I'm removed from it. Yeah. So it's like I'm sitting there cutting somebody else's Bruce Willis, Tracy Morgan movie, <laughs> trying to figure out how it'll work and shit, you know? And then I say, it's weird, it's a good job, because I sit around set all day and I watch the movie in a little monitor. You know, as you shoot it, there's a monitor and you watch that, so you see what the camera sees. So essentially, I sit there all day and watch TV, and I sit there and watch Bruce Willis movies, which is what I do at home anyway. <laughs> and at the end of the week, they're like, here's your check for doing what you would have done for free at home. <laughs> And I'm like, right on, thanks. Um, so no, I'm not going to bring anything new to it. I'm actually hoping to bring something old to it. Though it's funny, the movie, the biggest influence on the movie in my mind is Evan Costello in a weird way. It's it's kind of it's kind. I mean, I don't know how else to explain it, but but you'll see it when you see it. It's it, it's very much like an Evan Costello movie um, with guns and violence and shit. But like I said, 60% less action than Lethal Weapon. And I'm talking about the first one, which had like no action anyway. Um, it's got uh, like 103% less action than Lethal Weapon 3. If you can figure that shit out. We good? Say thanks. Thank you. Thanks, man. I, I just wanted to do one more time hear that. Thanks, Mr. Spook. Um, hey Kevin, um, hey. I know celebrity boxing is just totally done and over with, uh, what? Uh, okay. uh, <laughs> what? Oh, fuck you. Uh, um, I know celebrity boxing is done and over with, but if What is still, celebrity boxing? It's this TV show where a bunch of, like, celebrities would come on TV and just kick the shit out of each other for my entertainment. Um... <laughs> If you were, Is if this you, a show in your mind? I swear to God, Dustin Diamond was on there. Was he really? Screech? Yeah. Who did yeah. he fight? I don't remember. Screech fought Hosh Horshack? Wow. But Are you I, suggesting I get on that show? Yeah, but like, what I'm saying is, if it was still on, yeah. who would you want to kick the shit out of and why? I don't know. I'm not, I just got done telling you. I don't, want, I don't hate anybody. I love everybody. Um, <laughs> no, I'm hearing a lot of suggestions, but so far none of them. Here's the thing, at the end of the day, hold on, hold on, here's the thing. Okay, hold on, hold on, yes. Um, at the end of the day, I don't think I, 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 there's, even the people I do have hardcore grudges against, I know they could kick my ass. So I wouldn't want to step into the ring of them like, there's my, this is my time to shine, this is where I pay it back. They'd be like, Phew. I'd immediately get hit before I threw a punch, and within three punches, I'd be on my knees begging to suck their cocks to let me go. <laughs> like, I'll suck your dick, don't hit me anymore. Well, on TV! Then they can change the name to Celebrity Cock Fest. <laughs> What's that? Then they can, like, change the name to Celebrity Cock Fest or something, I don't know. That'd be kind of fun. Not, not if I was on the show. <laughs> Quasi-celebrity non-cocks. <laughs> I, but I don't know, I don't have anybody in mind that I would want to go hit or something like that. I, I don't know. Or even box. <laughs>